is our uh, fifth video now on fences here at Hark. Hi everybody, I'm Barry Eschenbrenner. This is uh, Horticulture Agroforestry Research Center, New Franklin, Missouri. This is our uh, fifth video now on fences here at Hark. Uh, I want to show you one that we're actually constructing right now. So we're not finished with this fence. And on this time, instead of protecting uh, a fruit or a tree, we're actually, this, this building behind me is what we call the drought barn. And this barn, when it rains, it moves and it is going over top of a crop down below, which is, uh, that you can see, which is called switchgrass on this particular year's study. So anyway, the professor on this one wanted to keep keep animals out of the switchgrass because sometimes they grow crops like soybeans or corn in here and the, and the deer tend to go after that kind of stuff. So this is what we call just a welded wire fence. That's what he chose. It's a 14 gauge, two by four is what it measures in there. So that will keep out small animals and deer, of course. It's 72 inches tall. We're gonna come on top of it with at least one strand of poly wire which will be, so will be electrified up top. This is kind of one of these combination electric and um, a permanent type fence deal. Uh, like I said, th th this is new, we're not done with it. And the way we, we, we start, this is, this is uh, oil case piping that we, we drive in the ground three feet. So we get 10 foot sections. And we, we have two of them right here because we're gonna hang a gate here. So that you don't normally have to drive to, this, this stuff will support what we're doing, but it means we're gonna hang a gate here. That's why we need the extra brace. Um, and the way we connect this wire to our pipe or to our T-post, which are down further, is by using what we call pull tights. You could use wire. We don't know how long these are gonna last. These are just quick and easy. Um, they're pretty inexpensive. We can run through here almost, you know, tie it. Well, the guys here tied this at four particular spots. And this fence is actually looks pretty good. It's pretty tight, it's doing its job. The way we came to our spacing on this, it, when I stepped it off a little bit ago, it was about 18 feet from that pipe to the T-post. So what we normally do is we go from point A to point B and we kind of divide that up. So we're somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 to 20 feet for our T-post spacing on this. And as you can see, you can use T-post for the whole run. There's no reason to use another piece of steel pipe or wood because it, it, it holds itself up. If you got any questions on this fence or anything else we've ever done, please uh, feel free to contact us here at HARC or check out our website. Thanks much for watching. See you later. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you like share and subscribe to our channel, Mizzou Agroforestry.